Okay, as requested by quite a few people, this is a proof of concept video and a tutorial of sorts on getting PlayStation 3 stereoscopic 3D compatible games working on the PlayStation VR headset in full stereoscopic 3D, similar to what you would be able to have done with a head-mounted display that Sony produced um, for the PlayStation 3. So what you need is a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation VR headset, either first or second generation. Obviously this comes with the processor unit. And an optional device here is an HDMI uh, splitter, or in this case, it's not splitting the signal, it's actually taking two signals and moving them into one HDMI cable. This is not mandatory, but it helps with the process and it um, yeah, helps that you don't have to hot plug the PS3 or PS4 HDMI video cable during this process. So what we're going to have to do first is you get a 3D Blu-ray, in my case I have James Cameron's Avatar, and you're going to want to start this on the PlayStation 4 um, and get it to a screen, this will not show up on my monitor of course, but get it to a screen that displays a full stereoscopic 3D image. So, in some cases, the menus are actually in 3D already on some of these 3D Blu-rays. Um, sometimes you have to actually start up the full movie. And I'm just going to wait for it to start up in the headset here, uh, because it's kind of hard to film inside the headset, as you might know. So that should be happening in a couple of seconds. In my case, this is already a good um, proof that the HDMI signal has been lost. So I've now paused the video, and you can see inside the um, PSVR headset there. It's kind of hard to film, um, but we have a, a green screen with writing on it to say, this is a 3D Blu-ray, please put on your 3D glasses now. And I've paused this just in order to have kind of the maximum duration of 3D uh, compatible mode, because obviously you could also play the film itself. Um, what that would do, though, is after the end of the film, when it goes back to the main menu, you would uh, immediately lose the 3D signal. So it's really important that um, the, the PS4 controller isn't touched and um, nothing is done on the PS4, and also that the USB cable that connects to the PSVR processor unit is not uh, taken out during this process because that will immediately switch over the PSVR headset back to 2D cinema mode which is just uh, the 3D movie running on a large virtual screen. So with this done, we're going to switch over the output. And this should actually bring up the PS3 output on this screen because it's not switched to 3D mode at the moment. And then on our PS3, um, if you have a PS3 that has debug settings, this makes uh, the process a little easier as well. This is possible on retail units, though. Um, for my case, I'm going to change the 3D video output instead of automatic to on, which forces the 3D output to be recognized on every display, any display, whether it's um, a 3D compatible one or not. And to show off how that works is I'm going to start the display settings. And actually, you have to do it automatically uh, via the wizard. And it'll come up um, on this screen, which it shouldn't usually, and actually... Um, ask us to put in the size of the screen. Now, because we're also giving out this video signal to the virtual screen on the PSVR headset, we can actually go as high as 150 inches. This doesn't really make a big difference anyway, but uh, feel free to try it out. Um, so we're going to do that, and there you can see that all the 3D modes that the PS3 supports are actually being um, recognized. So 720p, 1080i 3D. Um, the one that's actually used on the PSVR headset is 720p, as far as I know. You also want to set the audio output settings, because this will actually recognize that the PSVR headset has just a stereo uh, output or input, and um, it's a kind of a virtual um, surround signal when you're using on PS4. On PS3, it's obviously just a down-converted um, Dolby Digital uh, stereo or PCM sound. So the next step then, in this case, I'm just going to boot up a 3D compatible game. And the proof that uh, this is actually being seen as a 3D compatible display, both this monitor, which clearly isn't, 
and a, the PSVR headset is that you're going to see this screen and it asks you to switch over to 3D mode because a 3D compatible display has been found. So we're going to do that. We see the 3D health warning. And in a moment then, this is actually going to shut off because, again, this screen is not 3D compatible, so it's no longer going to receive a signal. This is a, a sign that everything's working correctly. And now, if we have another look in our PSVR headset, I'm going to try to do this as clear as possible. It should start displaying the kind of startup screens for Ridge Racer, and this is, this is really nice. It actually has that... Um, kind of classic arcade game, which is also running in 3D. And that's a good sign that everything's working. And yeah, it's kind of hard to show, obviously. But um, it is being displayed in both, uh, in both eyes, essentially. And it's nothing you can really show off using a 2D camera with just uh, one camera lens. But essentially, this is what you do. And you've got every single... 3D compatible um, PlayStation 3 game running on the PSVR headset with no problems at all. If I now switch back to my uh, PS4 output, it's also not going to show up because it, that in and of itself is still in um, 3D Blu-ray mode as well. So that's how you do it. A uh, quick uh, note on um, people that don't have a debug compatible PS3. What you have to do there is you have to hook up a 3D compatible display at least once. Um, do the um, video settings wizard and complete that. So the last display that you had connected would be that 3D compatible display. Keep it at that. Do not change the settings. Hook up the PSVR headset and uh, it has no problems being fooled into thinking that it's still being um, connected to a 3D compatible display. So all of the rest works exactly the same. This is how it works. Really simple method, really just looking at kind of the logic behind how um, PSVR handles 3D images and 3D inputs and um, try it out. It works really great. Resolution isn't all too great, obviously, um, but it's something that just extends the library of what's possible in 3D. It's not virtual reality, but it is very nice um, head-mounted display style 3D. Thanks for watching and uh, happy gaming.